hey you guys it's sunshine vibes with the high vibrations if you are new to my channel thank you for watching if you are returning thank you for subscribing to your girl love and light to you all i hope everybody is doing good so i'm gonna go over a couple downloads okay that i have for you all somebody's name could be sakaya i actually um this name is I don't think it's really familiar. I met a little girl named uh, Sakaya yesterday. She was a twin, so somebody could be a twin. And then I went somewhere else, and there was another little girl there that her name was the same thing. So I'm like, okay, let me look up the meaning of this name. Okay, if your name's not Sakaya, it could just literally mean that, okay, you are a heavenly daughter, okay? You are God's child. Uh, you guys, it also means high rank. So you guys have high rank, right? It is something about, um, you guys could be seeing 555, 222, 111. Um, it is something about a, a Ouija board. So there is somebody who has been trying to tap into your life, trying to figure you out, trying to figure out your lifestyle. Okay, whoever this person is, they are into dark arts. I've been picking up on this energy for a while now. I'm not pulling any cords. Um, I'm just receiving the knowledge that I am supposed to be giving to you guys to let you all know what's going on. So somebody is basically behind the scenes calling up entities. Um, Spurs said, you would know this person. This could be a family, a friend, a lover, you would know this person is doing this because you could tell by this person's face. Um, the entity has taken over this person. This entity is, this entity is, it, 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 it came to steal, kill, and destroy. And you see, they went where they went wrong sending this type of energy to you is that you literally already went through the dark night of the soul meaning um i have seen a post and it said spirituality is for those who actually been to hell and religion is for those who fear um i believe this okay i've had dreams about hell when i was uh, still a, t a child so I believe this because this shit frightened the fuck out of me. So when I seen this post, I'm thinking like, that's the fucking truth, you know? Because a lot of us that have these different gifts, um, we already experienced a lot when it comes to the spiritual realm of it. It's not like we're grown and um, people think you're crazy, you're losing your mind. No, you literally have a soul tribe out there okay you literally have a soul family outside of your real family okay like because we literally are here are created to you know we are souls here that are created to be able to venture off and be free okay some of us anyway okay so when i when i say this i'm saying this by don't let anybody get in your head to make you feel like you are not connected. 333, three, three, as I say this, you are spiritually supported, okay, in the ethers. Even if sometimes you don't even feel like you are with the people that are surrounded by you. Um, also, like I said, you guys could have been had these gifts or you could just be tapping into them, okay? You could have had dreams as a kid. You could have, you know, seen things. It, it, it's You could have heard things. It's all type of different gifts. So, Spirit just wants you to know that you are supported, okay? You are protected. You are connected. Um, things could seem kind of rocky. I was just saying this the other day when, like, throw you lemons, make lemonade, but the bitch been throwing watermelons. And you know what? We here for it, okay? Because we are... It's something about calling on the warrior spirit, okay? So, um, you guys, do some yoga, okay? Balance, okay? It's, it's about balance, I'm hearing. But, yeah, this person, whoever this person is that waged this war on you, they are going through it, okay? They are really going through it right now. Um, somebody wanted you to be in, like, a mental disorder. Okay, this person is in a mental disorder, this person is fearing hell, <laughs> okay? This person um, consciously 
is a word that they 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 have done some fucked up things behind the scenes and um it's nothing that they can do it's it's like you can't come back from certain things that you do when especially when you play in the spiritual realm a lot of people think it's funny to prey on people's downfall it is it's not funny it's not it's not for real because you can sit and think um that sometimes you could think that oh you helping somebody if you're really gonna help somebody like get into that person's life and help them um but don't sit behind the scenes and watch them and say you helping them and you attacking them or say that um this person is doing something to you this person was saying that you was doing stuff to them you was attacking them you was literally minding your business okay praying persevering and this person was intimidated by your strength okay five 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 as i say this this person was intimidated by your inner strength instead of um looking at you as a, a a positive inspiration somebody looked at you as competition somebody looked at you as a reason to um a reason to go a different way so somebody is blaming you for the route that they went <laughs> like this is crazy um somebody is blaming you for the route that they went they are blaming you. They want to apologize, but they know they can't. Because like I said, this person, whoever this person is, they was playing in the spirit realm. And you have high ranking. So it, they they shouldn't have done this shit. They shouldn't have played in the spirit realm. Because like you literally have higher powers that literally, literally watch over you. Okay? Like you are so protected. You are protected. You have a sin masters. Okay? You guys are just so guarded right now i'm feeling this protection being out so whoever you are you are so guarded right now okay You're, you can speak your truth from her and you can live your life you can be free um and understand that the attacks that are sent your way they literally make you stronger okay they literally make you stronger whenever you are being pushed out of your comfort zone do not go weary okay be still and know that he is God, okay? I'm being called to speak this to you, okay? Because I'm trying to speak life into my collective right now because the energy I've been picking up on so much, it's been a lot of attacks, a lot of spiritual warfare. But um, God has put it on my heart this morning to speak from my heart and uh, don't even touch my cords today. So I am just letting you guys know that regardless of the attacks that have been sent to you regardless of whatever that you have lost you will get it back tenfold okay there is there is nothing that we lose that cannot be found right as long as you are still putting the good energy out okay you're gonna receive it back um this person does not believe in karma whoever this person is but i feel like now they're, they're catching the raft i'm hearing uh, they're catching the raft they're feeling, they're feeling, somebody is feeling some type of way, okay? They are feeling some type of way because they feel like that the more you speak, the more turmoil that they go through. Um, and this is true. And this is true because your truth sets you free. Um, somebody was telling lies on you. Somebody was being very uh, uh, sneaky and conniving. Okay, this person was being very deceptive in your energy. They was playing in your energy. They was copying your energy. They was mocking your energy. But God said one thing they can't do is be you. He created you in his image. Okay, so you don't have to worry. Okay, don't worry about a damn thing. <laughs> okay, don't worry about a damn thing. <laughs> Ah, your light's going to irritate they demons, okay? Shine bright anyways, okay? Speak your truth anyways. Um, also, you guys, it's, it's something about self-discovery. You guys could be seeing a lot of bees. You guys are high vibing right now. But right now is the time Spirit just wants you to, you know, continue to stay in the protection of your self-discovery, of knowing who you are. A lot of people might think that you are selfish because you come off as 
you know it all or you come off as you know you got it all figured out no you just know that your intuition is your guide okay your intuition is literally guiding you and somebody is intimidated by that they want that they want they want to you know have their intuition but see this is where somebody fucked up they want your intuition but instead of training their mind to be more powerful than their um trauma um because a lot of people get this fucked up they get it fucked up when it comes to spirituality you have to be a strong minded strong minded when i say strong minded strong minded it is a war it is war it shit is not for love and light i spread love and light don't get me wrong it's love and light all day long over here because I done been through the dark night of the soul. But baby, when I tell you, I still fight a war. I fight them in my sleep. So like when I was singing that, when I picked up on that uh, song, uh, Skilla for God. Um, and like I said, when he said in that song, he see dead people in his sleep. I, I could feel that shit. Because like I said, I literally, somebody plays, plays in the spiritual realm. But when you already, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. God, what do you, God, speak to me right now. Come on, Holy Spirit. When you already been through the dark night of the soul, when you actually have seen these spirits, not only in the spiritual realm, but you've seen them physically, 1144 as I say this, and you got to call these spirits out, baby, you chosen. Whenever you can see a spirit and you can call that spirit out and you run that spirit away, that's called a demon slayer. You slay these demons. You don't need drugs. You don't need none of that shit to be able to slay a demon because the, all of that shit ain't nothing but demonic spirits. And I ain't talking about no little marijuana, okay? I ain't talking about no little marijuana. I'm talking about all of the shit that people consume that distorts their view of things. Okay, um, because a lot of people get it confused. They think, oh, I'm a divine film. I'm a divine masculine. No, you're not if you got a distorted ass view. If you're looking at life and you think everything is just so bad and it's just so awful and all of this bullshit, baby, your view is distorted. You couldn't have no peace from within. Because when you got peace, like I said, I'm spreading love and light because this is what I feel inside. All of this outside of me, if I let it get inside of me, it'll destroy me. But because I am firm, I believe me inside and out. I believe that whatever that I see inside, whatever that I feel inside can be created in the world outside of me. Because I am a co-creator. I'm co-creating with the universe. With God. God created the universe. You guys, like, I, I, I'm just so humbled. And you guys could feel like this too. Okay? You guys have humble beginnings. Like, literally. God humbled me so I would not have to be able to. So I won't have to keep being humbled. I ain't going to lie to y'all. So when I say inner peace is so important, if people can't get inside of you, man, if they can't project that negative energy and knock you out, bitch, you fighting, you fighting back. You fighting back. You ain't laying down. You ain't none of that. You fighting back. You rebuking. You returning to cinder. Okay? And somebody feels some type of way because you returning to cinder. You can return to cinder. You don't got to do a spell. When you pray, God hears you, okay? He's listening. He knew what was going on before you even knew. He knew that you was going to fight this fight before you even knew. So please don't get discouraged. Please don't grow weary. Please continue to fight the fight, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. These are the type of people that want to play in, in spiritual realm. They want to play in spirituality, but they really fear... 1444, they fur. They can't be you. You got more faith than a mustard seed. And they live in fur. 
they see you doing something they want to do it because they see the love the light the favor favor ain't fur hell no nah, it ain't fur you know why it ain't fur because you don't know the silent battles people fight behind the scenes behind the screens behind the image you don't gotta tell people how you walk you don't gotta tell people why you talk the way you talk just keep on being you when you're being true to yourself you don't have to seek validation from other people this is where whoever this person is they fucked up because they were seeking validation from everybody else instead of just running the source somebody want to be so connected and, and and God is saying he feels disrespected because you don't believe. You believe more in the dark than the light. You believe more in the dark than the light. Make sure that you're creating your heaven on earth. <laughs> don't let nobody make you feel like you got to walk like them you got to talk like them you are yourself you got to be true to you whatever you do and how you do it and, and understand it's not what you do it's how you do it i keep running across a lot of demonic ass energies a lot of projection that shit's demonic and, and and I'm just I'm just here to tell you guys like choose life choose life over death we are not connected to ancestors to be in a mental state of living in the past um understand you can connect yourself to uh karmic ancestors so whoever this person is i feel like they connected themselves to some karmic ancestors okay but when you are connected to ancestors and your ancestors okay they put you they give you these gifts it's literally for you to be able to break break the chains and break the cycles okay whatever they didn't get to finish they want you to finish it staying on course fighting the fight and learning the lessons there that's why there is karmics and there is <laughs> your north node we transition anybody who is on this journey has to learn about transitions. I'm just speaking, okay? I'm speaking what the Holy Spirit want me to speak at this time because I'm at a level of growth where I'm being called to step out of my comfort zone. So, um, I'm just speaking what God has put on my heart to speak because a lot of people are just getting things misconstrued when it comes to karmics. Uh, people like drama, okay? Um, <laughs> I mean, I know drama's a little in, in, enticing, okay? It's it's tea, uh huh. So when it comes out in the cards, I'll read it. But I mean, sometimes God wants me to speak upon past the drama because you know we're we gonna get older in in the drama. That's like a Boosie song. He said, "All my hoes got Jordan skills; they fade away." the drama will fade away you're gonna eventually be like damn i done wasted all my time 1919 worried about causing chaos and drama in somebody else's life when i literally could have just been focusing on mine. okay so pay very close attention to the readers that you get readings from that's all about karmic that's all, all about uh causing confusion and drama we're supposed to be growing from certain things, okay? You're supposed to be growing. If you are in karmic situations, okay, you're supposed to learn your lessons. You don't have to be stuck. Now, don't get me wrong. It's people that want to. I just said this the other day because somebody uh, said something to me, and I said, 
I don't know why me being by myself bothers people. Um, I know if people pick up on my energy, I have a boring ass life. And baby, if that's what make me happy, okay. Cause they be with they broke ass niggas and they bum ass niggas and they niggas that don't be making them happy. That's what makes them happy. But Spirit said we not we're not judging people over here. But see, people will be judgmental because of your peace and your acceptance. Cause when you start accepting yourself, <laughs> you gonna be a powerful motherfucker. Acceptance. These people wanted you to feel like you wasn't accepted. You wasn't protected. You wasn't connected. <laughs> but God sees all. God knows all. Listen to the birds. You guys could be just seeing things in the nature that is confirming how protected you are. <laughs> you could be receiving signs. I'm hearing when God speaks, you listen. So you guys literally have nothing to be worried about. Um, somebody got lost in the rabbit hole. I just heard. Somebody tried to go down the rabbit hole with you and they got lost. Tricks are for, for kids, I just heard. So they wanted to trick you, but they ended up being tricked. Cause somebody was stuck in their ego. They were stuck in a, a trauma of a childhood trauma. Somebody's name could be uh, Tyler. Somebody's name could be Destiny. But somebody could not defeat you. Because you didn't even have to fight the battle. God fought the battle for you. Like I said, you guys, I've been attacked in my sleep numerous of times, but I always woke up, nothing but God. I always persevered. They try to shut you up. They try to shut you up and shut you out. But you're still speaking, you're still walking, you're still talking. That should show these people that they are not powerful than God. That when he said, let there be light, that there was light. You can't keep a person stuck in the dark forever. We we got to go through that dark night of the soul, but we can't stay there forever. Chase your dreams. Go for what you know. Don't stop. Don't let them keep you stuck. Don't let them keep you stuck, collective. You guys are in alignment with the universe for abundance, okay? It is time to be open to receiving the good things in life. Positivity and abundance are your companions. You attract abundance by focusing on the positive. See, that's why I'm saying you. there is negative stuff that happens, but it's called transmutation. And that doesn't mean go do witchcraft and transmute whatever energy that you see somebody in and a good energy and you send some negative shit. That's not transmutation. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> These people think you weird because you know how to transmute energy without even touching witchcraft. Some people have to do magic and some people are magical within. Now, you attract abundance by focusing on positive. We want you to release all existence and welcome abundance. You are a channel for abundance, health, and prosperity. Positive energy uplifts you daily. So some of you all could be doing affirmations. You could be doing mantras. Some of you all could be listening to the Psalms 91. But like I said, this person is receiving karma. Because in Psalms 91, he said, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Okay? 
Nothing is coming near you. Somebody is afraid. Nothing's coming near you. It, it, it's not going to de destroy you. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You guys are faithful to God. These people, these, these people missed. They read your energy. They read you wrong. You guys could be doing protection rituals. You guys could be seeing 444. But Spirit wants you to reflect from something that is entirely unconnected. So, uh, so this situation or this person, something is not even connected to you anymore. You've cut the cords. So you guys could be doing cord cutting rituals. You guys could feel like you are connected to animals. You could feel like that you can read minds of animals, okay? You guys could be focused on body goals. If there's anything that you are thinking about doing when it comes to the public eye, a podcast, or uh, starting a YouTube channel, or whatever it is, do it, okay? I'm here and do it. Step into your North Node. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. Anything else? I love those. Oh. Yes, yeah, first said it's time. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. It's time to focus on your career, your physical, your physical being, your your body. Something about eat food and drink. Some of you all could just feel like you just need to, you know, overall focus on your health right now and your well being, your work and your career. You could be a Virgo. You also could be having thoughts about a love relationship. And somebody could be very quiet about this. Spurs said keep 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 all of your business private. <laughs> keep all of your business private right now. Because there are some things that is about to happen behind the scenes that the enemy must not know. These people can't read your energy through Ouija boards. They can't read your energy anymore. They can't defame your character. They can't knock you off your throne. You have reached a level of mastery. You mastered your shadow side. So whoever you are, this is for you. Spirit said, congratulations. You have mastered your shadow side. This could be whatever shadows that you have, any addictions, Whatever that you, 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 whatever fight that you are overcoming, you've mastered your shadow side. So you can walk the walk, you can talk the talk. Okay? There ain't no hypocrites over here, baby. We real and authentic, and somebody just don't know how to be that. <laughs> somebody doesn't know how to be that. They need other people's energy. We don't. We create our own energy. <laughs> we create our own energy. We create our own creations. <laughs> we don't got to steal people's work. We don't have to copy people's work. We don't have to fake and act like, oh, we thought about that idea. When we, we get ideas all day long, y'all. I'm telling you, my seven-year-old daughter told me this one day. All of your ideas come from God. Any idea that you have, it, it's coming from God. So if you are thinking about doing any of these things, do it. Listen to your father. Because whoever you are, you are a heavenly daughter. And that's just what it is. I didn't say perfect. I said heavenly. You are of light. You are a light worker. You are a child of God. You are no longer a slave to fur. That's all I got for you. Love and light. Namaste. I'll